Hello everybody, it's Burger Bob! I'm back! Um, sorry for the late video. Yep, this is in my script. Um, I think I'm gonna move my release dates to Thursday because I have the uh, quartets. I'm playing every Wednesday at this guy's house over in the Mission and I need to make it to those. They start at 3 o'clock and I, we do it for a couple hours so I don't have a lot of time during the day to make videos. So I'll probably scoot these over a day. Hopefully that's not a big deal. Um, today's topic, articulation. I finally got some suggestions since I asked for them and keep giving me those. I want suggestions. It's kind of the point of this channel, this the whole series is for you guys to ask me stuff. And I guess I can bring my own stuff up sometimes, but I'd rather help you guys out. And, uh, Got a suggestion for articulation. I also got one for taking valves apart and stuff. I'm going to... Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video on that. I know how to do it. I do it pretty often with my rotor bases and stuff. But I think there's probably better videos out there. And I'm not sure if my methods are super kosher. So I may leave that up to someone else. Give me more suggestions though for next week. This week though is articulation. So articulation is kind of a rough subject. Let me move this microphone a little bit. Um, there's lots of ways to do it. There's lots of good ways to do it. There's lots of bad ways to do it. Um, I'm going to go over the way I was taught and the ways I've figured out that work best for me. So, you know, this may not work with your physiology. Um, but, you know, give it a try. So, we'll start out. I'm going to put a link to a video in the description and I want you to watch that in a bit. Not yet. Don't watch it now. Anyway, just the basics. So, when you're articulating, and this is a quote um, I got from a friend who marched crown, um, the air motivates the tongue. So, the note is not started by the tongue. The note is started by the air, and it just happens to be stopped by the tongue, etc. So, think of things more as a long series of air, like a long, uh, like say river of air, and then every once in a while you just like put a little thing in the way and put these little tiny stoppages in between like the water or the air or whatever. Um, you don't want to think of things as like really tonguey, really articulated, blah, blah, tucka, 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 tucka. Um, sometimes you do need more tongue. I mean, there's articulations that call for that, but you really want to stay away from using your tongue as a way to make notes happen or make things really loud or things like that. It's really more about the air and the just slight stoppage that your tongue makes. So, um, I like to place my tongue when I articulate, when I go ta-ta-ta-ta-ta or da-da-da-da-da, whatever you want to say. They end up being in the same place in my mouth. Um, it should be right about where your gums stop at your teeth, on the top row of your teeth. So it's um, just a little bit above like your, the backs of your top row of teeth. It should be right where those gums are. Um, and that's just for like the middle register. That's where your tongue should be. And the, that changes as you move throughout the range. So as you go lower, my tongue goes lower because you have a more open oral cavity, so you have to make more space. Um, my tongue moves lower to eventually be go in between my teeth for really low notes. And that's just the way it has to be. I mean, I'm sure there's people who don't have to do that, um, but I don't know any. And um, I mean, most of the bass trombonists I've asked about this, including professionals, do the same thing. And as you go higher, the tongue will kind of move back a little bit. Um, I'm not as versed in this because I don't have to articulate high very often, so um, figure that out for yourself. I mean, if you can keep your tongue in exactly the same place all the time, you're probably doing something wrong, and I mean, that's pretty great. I mean, if you can do that and sound great, that's fine, but uh, it, it probably moves with the oral cavity in your mouth changing as you go up and down. And I'll talk about that in some other video some other time about how the oral cavity changes throughout the registers, but we won't, we won't get into that here. So, um, watch that video now. Pause this video, watch that video. Okay, you're back. You just watched that video. Um, 
You'll notice, and I don't have the video in front of me, but uh, it's a horn player playing a natural horn, so it's not uh, exactly what trombonists are going to be doing, but you know, it applies to brass playing. Um, you notice their ca their oral cavity is like really open, and the tongue is kind of just like down and back, and he goes pew, 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 and it just kind of like lightly darts forward, stops the air, and comes out of the way so quickly. It doesn't go blah. It's super fast. And that's what, really what you want to think about. Like, not even the attack of the tongue. You want to think about getting the tongue out of the way fast. Ta, 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 ta. You want to have that nice open oral cavity right away. It's ta. Like, um, a drum corps thing I hear is da, like breathe da. And you want to think about da with a lowercase d and then capital A-H. Da. So less of the front, more of the rest. Um, and yeah, just think about being fast. And th that video is perfect. I mean, there's multiple tongue in that. I'm not even going to talk about that in this. But um, refer to that video if you ever get confused. And also, you know, try not to death, you know, die by overanalyzing. Just have good articulations. Um, all right, movement. I'm going to talk about movement. You'll notice in that video, I'm pretty sure the player playing doesn't move a whole lot. They don't. Their chin doesn't move. Their cheeks aren't puffing out. Not that you can see them. Uh, assuming they're not. Um, the horn's not going up and down on their face. You really want to minimize your movement as you play. And I'll show you in a second when I play some exercises. But um, you really want to and. I'm going to put a disclaimer here. There are lots of really great brass players all over the place that have tons of movement when they play and do like really weird things. And that's fine. They can do it. If they can sound great and do it, then it's no problem of ours. Like if you have, if you notice someone doing something totally weird, but it doesn't interfere with their playing at all, then that, that's fine. They can do whatever they want. There's the the bass trombonist in the army band, the top army field band, um, Pershing Zone, I think. Uh, he puffs his cheeks when he plays a ton, and but he sounds like a million bucks. So who cares? The thing is, you just want to kind of eliminate that stuff from the beginning, and just not even worry about it in the future. So if you do puff your cheeks and it is impacting things, then just try not doing that. And I, like, first, uh, very specific things like puffing cheeks, I don't have a fix for that. I may have done that a really long time ago. I just, I haven't in a long time, so I can't really suggest a fix. Other things like moving your chin down. Um, I notice a lot of people doing that. Uh, I think it's to open up the oral cavity a little bit. I'm not sure what it is. And I think I may do it a little bit when I play it lower. But you also want to avoid things like that. You just kind of want to keep everything still so that this stays the same. And the only thing that's moving is your tongue going... And just avoiding movement. And I'll try and showcase that when I play some stuff here in a second. Um, we'll see if that turns out. Um... Yeah, so chin and cheeks, I, there's other things that move. I mean, people, uh, your horn does move up and down a little bit on your face. Uh, and I am i won't get into that because, I mean, I do it too. My horn uh, moves down a little bit when I play higher and it goes up a little bit when I play lower because of the way my chin moves when I play. And that is a very personal thing. It's based on your uh, like jaw shape and your mouth shape and your embouchure and stuff. So I won't get into that. Um, but, you know, try not to be, like, all over the place when you move. It really annoys me when, like, trumpet players, uh, and, you know, if they sound great, it works, but I, it really annoys me when trumpet players, when they, like, leap octaves and stuff, they're like, do 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 that, uh, just annoys the crap out of me. It looks bad. Um, you know, and it feels good to look good. Um, so, all right, let's get into some exercises. Leaving a break here because I'm going to have to cut this in two videos. Let's just cut it right now.